Hey everyone, welcome to NFT Art Galaxy. I'm exploring the whole NFT universe and lo and behold, the Algo NFT generator became before me. Um, I'm really, really excited. I do have the creator of the Algorand NFT generator, also co-founder of the GIF economy, as well as their programmer. Jason, welcome to the program. Um, AKA R U N V N C run VNC. I love it. Um, on discord. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, you know, I wanted to, to learn a little bit more about this, maybe a little bit more about you and then, you know, possibly walk through this, uh, what I believe is a, is a game changer, uh, in the generative art genre. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so I'm horrible about giving giving my background, but uh, I, I could say, you know, I've been programming since I was eight years old. Um, and so that's like 30 years or something off and on. And um, maybe around earlier this year, I got, got into Algorand. Um, Devin hired me to work on his NFT marketplace auction site. Um, and subsequently, I became a co-founder of GIF Economy. And, uh, uh, you know, we spent several months working on GIF Economy. Um, we still have a lot of uh, hopes and dreams for GIF Economy for people to find out that it exists. <laughs> um, but uh, recently, um, you know, uh, in December, we've been, I've been focusing a little bit on this, this new website. Um, which is a way to generate NFTs from uh, constituent uh, images. Oh, wow. Um, and um, so basically I was hanging out in the Nifty Art Public Discord and I figured out that that's what a lot of them do is they make large collections of generative NFTs um, by layering images. And one of the guys on there, his name is uh, Donger420. Um, I was asking about tools and he said, you know, I would like to be able to generate NFTs from GIF images or GIF images, you know, animated GIFs or GIFs, whatever, however you want to say it. Oh, wow. Um, so I, you know, I said, you know, that's an interesting idea. Why don't I build that? So I went and Googled how am I going to combine and layer GIFs or GIFs? And um, there's a tool for that. And it's not perfect. It, it only really works if you have the exact same number of uh, frames in each GIF that you're layering. But mm -hmm. it's automatic and it's totally possible. So it, it's a little, a little bit, you know, so the, the whole concept of this originally was, wouldn't it be cool if we started creating characters, NFT characters that are collections of characters that are moving? And that's totally possible. Um, I haven't seen anybody use my tool for that, but that was the original concept. But um, just to sort of break it down more, basically, I think, you know, this is really only going to make sense to people that understand the concept of NFTs from the beginning. So I don't need to understand explain that okay but uh i don't think um it's just the basic idea is um we have a whole bunch of unique characters that are in a collection right and the way that they're created is by selecting random traits and each trait has an image associated with it and so each, i'm sorry each variant of each trait has an image associated with it and at the same time they all they have different rarity levels or occurrence per occurrence percentages associated with each right. trait variant. Uh, so yeah, I, I think I'm doing a horrible job of explaining this, but the, 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 the point of this website is instead of doing all of uh, your NFT generation and creation in something like Photoshop and turning on and off layers and then exporting, uh, you can just get your layers together and then you have a convenient way of 
uh, not only organizing the layers of the different trait types, uh, but also setting up your rarity levels. And then um, you don't have to use another script or anything. You just come down, press the generate button. And then once you've generated them all, you check them out, you can go and press the pin button. And you can, once you've generated them, you could go ahead and, and mint like 500 or 1,000 NFTs just from that one button. Oh, wow. So, that's, yeah, I think it's crazy. not a great explanation, but... Um, no, I it makes it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So I mean, it's just you're you're uploading all your different traits and then the variance of the traits, and then you're setting you know the percentage of occurrence on some of the traits, and then you're just gonna put in right there how many you want to generate and generate them, and then then boom. And um, yeah, is is there is there a, a large cost to something like this, or there's no is it how does, how does that work? Okay, so the cost, initially, what I had for the cost was um, I put the absolute minimum fee, which was wow. uh, 0.001 per item. Wow. And I've had like five different people tell me that I have to charge more fees. Or, I mean, the, the initial idea was I'm just testing this, so I'm going to put the absolute minimum per right. item. And then I was like, okay, well, maybe we can charge 0 0.002. And then I had like three people say, look, you got to charge a whole bunch more money. Uh, where's your donation, Chris, and all of this stuff. So, mm -hmm. and then Chris, aka Kraken, was a little bit assertive and suggested I charge 0 0.05 Albo per item. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I pushed back a little bit and I changed it to 0 0.025 Albo per item. Minted. Okay. So yeah, seems if you mint four <laughs> items, then that's 0 0.1 albums. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. I saw that you, you generated those GIFs below. So that, that's, that's pretty wild. So, so it doesn't have to necessarily be a GIF, but it could be a GIF. So you're actually giving people even more options when creating generative R. So, you know, they could take their current collection and they can actually automate it um, as well. <laughs> absolutely so, wow. so yeah, i, I mean wow. People, wow wow yeah. wow <laughs> so, that's amazing and right, I, do so love, I do love your art by the way i mean it's not my art these are things I that i got off of the internet the only the <laughs> art that i did was the, uh, <laughs> the smile and the frown yeah um, but it's yeah, great i mean it's <laughs> that's great so with the click of a button you could make 500 to a thousand or even more well, a thousand is no, limit, it, right? It, thousand it won't go over a thousand. A thousand is we a limit just, per the wallet. Yeah. So what we were just discussing today in, in the Discord server was someone plans to mint 1,600 of them and what does he need to do? And, and I, I just told, I told them that, I told him that I was going to work on that tonight to try to make it possible to handle uh, multiple wallets so that wow. you can have a collection that spans multiple wallets. And the main thing that I need to do there is just try to prevent duplicates. Um, so the duplicate right now, it uses uh, a hash of the file that's generated and that's stored in the folder for that wallet. So what I'm going to try to work on tonight is basically a way for it to know about the other wallets and the other files. Oh, wow. And prevent um, and prevent duplicates, uh, with, so that you can go in here and create a collection that has several different wallets. Wow. So that could be two thousand or three thousand or ten thousand, or theoretically the limit would be the disk storage of the server. Yeah, the I mean this is I mean this is amazing. I'm I'm honestly in awe just thinking about the possibilities, and not only that, you're you, you're available in your Discord. And you're listening to feedback from the community and, and, and helping them accomplish what they want to accomplish. So, I mean, I think that's just like, wow, it's kind of a, you know, algorithm well, programmer in the house. Run yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So, 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 so one other thing that I'll mention in here is, is we are helping 
uh, there's a project called Alvatars, A-L-V-A-T-A-R, Alvatars. Have you heard of that project? I, I did. I was doing some homework, kind of reading up, and I think it was mentioned somewhere, uh, maybe on your Discord. Right. So they're creating a game where they have quite a lot of different traits and different trait variants, um, and they have uh, uh, they have numbers that show up on each side of the images. Uh, that are part of the game. So okay. I created a custom application for them, for them to be able to generate their um, their NFTs. So right now, this web page has a programming facility built in using a programming language called LiveScript. And uh, I told the avatars guys that that was going to be an exclusive feature for them. Um, at some point, we're going to open that up. And I, but I am probably going to do it in a little bit of a different way. But what they have is a script that's integrated into the website. There's a, a field to, hit, to enter uh, live script, and it and it uses the, the, the custom script to uh, to generate uh, the code. It uses some of the existing facilities of, in the web page wow. uh, to to do that. Um, but I definitely plan to add live script coding into um, the core application that everybody gets. I'm planning to add a, a, a column here that says code and you click it, it'll expand to a code editing window and it will use this live script programming language and that's gonna integrate with the p5.js uh, image processing library. And the goal is to have something like a way to generate you know, 200, 300 different colors of your boots or something like that oh, wow. without having to actually make them wow. in, in Photoshop. So it'd be something like code that says, you know, it will say something like any color boot or something, I'm trying to use this uh, live script programming language because it's a functional programming language that's very concise. And so hopefully I can work it out so that it's convenient and also very flexible. Uh, for for generating the wow. trait variants. Are that. there are there any current limits now? So can you upload three hundred colors of boots right now, or is there a limited amount of uh, trait variants that you can? I, I think that the limits are going to be related to number one, my disk space, which I haven't checked recently, but I think we. We, we're still early on. I think the disk space is going to be more of a concern as I start adding the ability for to generate larger collections. Got but it. one guy, um, he I had no limit on the image size, and he went ahead and uploaded four thousand by four thousand images. Oh wow! And he was he was generating and minting apparently all night, and he used up like eight gigs of uh, six or seven gigs of hard disk space. Um, but so that the limit now for that is 1400 by 1400. The, the, uh, as, as far as having lots of different variants, I don't think that is going to be a huge issue where I start to possibly run into a limitation is if you have many, many different traits, for example, if I have 30 different traits or something, I'm not sure I could handle that because of the particular way that it works. I mean, it's trying to run an image magic program on the command line to combine all of these images. And in a certain number of traits, probably just the file name would be too long. Got but uh, so far, I don't think we've run into any question about the number of traits. I think uh, people mostly want to add a lot of trait variants, which that doesn't, um, that doesn't increase the resource usage at all because it's, it's only going to pick one of each trait variant. Uh, got it got it is there like a main main image too uh, besides the traits or there's the the there's all they're all variants so in other words like if i have a a giraffe i just put a giraffe in there and then you kind of change it or i'm going to need a giraffe that smiles a giraffe that frowns so it's, it's right so uh, it, it 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 should be layered in the order that you 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 put uh, so this is the first bottom layer the this bottom is layer is at God. top, at the top. So the bottom layer, I think I, I'm not sure. At one point, I had the bottom layer say, um, 
there was some limitation with the bottom layer. I, I think I had it so that uh, you couldn't make the bottom layer a GIF, uh, or I honestly don't remember, but I think right now they're all the same. The bottom layer might be, um, might have a limitation as far as whether it could be a GIF or not, or something like that. But I think they're all kind of handled the same. And so, so if you want like a main giraffe, you would just probably have a background image and then you would probably have the main giraffe would be the next layer. Right. And then different features on the giraffe would be subsequent layers further down. Cool. Wow. All right, man. I mean, this is, uh, this has been amazing. Um, is, is there anything else that, that you like um, the NFT users and creators and collectors on Algorand to, to know? Oh, you mean? Uh, well, I mean, anything else coming up or anything else that, that we should be uh, coming, coming, checking out your Discord, saying hello? Yeah, absolutely. Please log into the Discord and watch the announcements channel because that's when I change things. And actually, I did have to break something last week where the, the, the image generation was going to use different file names and so it couldn't detect duplicates. And so hopefully I won't have to do that a lot, but there might be something that's relevant in that announcement channel. Got it. And, and you're very active in there. So if you are planning on doing a project, definitely recommend coming, coming to say hello first. Absolutely. They're happy. I'm happy to, to talk to people about their project. All right. Excellent. Well, I think we will leave it there. I'm very, very excited about this. I mean, this is, this is amazing. I wish I had more time that I can go around and, and kind of play with this, but I think somewhere down the road, definitely uh, we'll explore it myself, but uh, everybody like the video, share it, watch it again. <laughs> you know, all those artists that are out there that are not on Algorand, send them this, show them what's possible here. I mean, it just gets better and better. And I mean, I really, really thank you um for being on on the show and uh, i think this is going to benefit a lot of people so everybody follow uh run vnc he's not on twitter but go to his discord and uh you can follow him there and go to the channel and thank you thank you again and until next well, time well thank you so much all right appreciate it nft art galaxy out